We have a visitor. Quick, we need to see them. Who are they? What do they want? We think they are human. Yes, human. Maybe they are tasty. Oh, hi, sorry. I didn't hear you. Come in, how can I... Oh, that's you. Long time no. See how long? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe five, maybe ten. Dozens. Hmm. I don't think you hate to buy a record. What I'm selling, is it your type of music? Is it? But by the look of it, you're not fit to be working right now either. Are you? Alcohol. He reeks of it. Disgusting. Oh well, the more you know. Didn't think the NYPD would let any of the employees work drunk. You do not work for them. Oh, the feds. Really? That explains the alcohol then. I've had my fair share of meetings with your kind. Yes, unfortunately, not nice people, not nice at all. We hate them. <laughs> of course, what did you think? Some of them know loads about us, but that's a story for another time. So, work brings you here after all. And I was thinking you wanted to pay a friendly visit. After all these years, without any news. We missed him. We missed him so much. Why wouldn't he come to us? Why wouldn't he have fun with us? Like the old days. I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. Even more so that you're alone and not with that bitch of yours. <sighs> Come on, don't play dumb. You know fully well what happened between us. How she tried to kill us. Yes, with a steak, an iron one. We hate her so much. We want her dead. Is this why she didn't come? Because she is afraid. Oh, I see. All the important matters to attend to. <laughs> we know he is lying, but it's okay. We still like him. All the same. Now, tell me, why are you here? I might know the answer, yes. I can guess, if you want. That one's easy, yes. Really easy, we know. Something happened, something dark, something cruel, something exciting. It's about the body in the alleyway, isn't it? Don't look so surprised. Words go fast here. It's New York, after all. And you think I can help you on the matter because... He thinks we did it. Yes, he suspects us. But it's not. No. We do not kill like that. We bring them home, have a little fun before. Then we drink. Then we kill. This is a free zone, yes. I'm sure you have the town all mapped out. Which death is whose, which zone is free, which isn't. I do live here, yes, upstairs. And because I do live here, I should know everything that's happening in the district. Of course I don't. I only know what's happening in the record store. 
and that's plenty enough. I hardly go out of here, only to feed in. Usually I manage to trap some customers. No. I hate outside. I hate others. I am an introvert and a social vampire. You? What about you? Well, I tolerate you, I guess. He's so much fun, very entertaining, and above all, he's delicious. But I don't think you came here to rekindle our past relationship, or uh, whatever you want to call it. The body, yes. No, I don't know who did it. I just heard that something happened. I got a sixth sense of these kind of things, you know? Smelling death. And you being here, I suppose, you suspect a vampire. Or a ghoul. Ah, <laughs> ghouls don't feel like that. They're messy. Really messy. So messy. It's a lot of work to clean after them. Yes, the worst. But it's so much fun to watch them feed. Enough. Yes, so much blood. So much noise. Like a piece of art. So exciting. So arousing. Enough. We want to see it again. Soon. Yes, soon. Let's go out. I said enough! Don't pretend you're not hearing them. The voice is in my head. I know you do. You always did. That's what drove you mad in the first place. And then, away from me. Isn't it? <laughs> That's very nice of you. Very polite to play pretend. <sighs> be a vampire, they said. It will be fun, they said. Ethan told me my mental health ailments would disappear after the bite and so I didn't even think twice and now it's even worse still here and others can hear them too what a curse they drove you mad but can you imagine what they do to me was that? <laughs> Never really thought about it like that. But yes, probably. That's why I don't go out too much. People would freak out. But again, you're not here to listen to a depressed vampire. As I said, your culprit, not a ghoul, no chance. A vampire for sure. One that would want to stir things up in our little community. And here, there's so many that just want either power, revenge, or just the, the whole fucking world burn. So, good luck with finding who did it. At least, you don't have to chase all supernatural creatures in New York. Oh please, I hardly did anything. You would have found all this yourself if you knew a bit more about ghouls and such. But still, no one leaves my shop without 
pain. Now, how will you repay the time you made me waste tonight? And the excess of stress you created inside my mind. Hmm? I hate it when they take control. When they think they can do and say anything they want. The voices inside my head. Do you know how many times I tried to shut them up? Never managed to do so. A friend of mine had the same problem. Armand, he was called. He did the unthinkable, ran outside in broad daylight under scorching sun. You can imagine what happened. Indeed, he burned like a piece of paper, a screaming and laughing piece of paper. Oh, what's that? A cross? Really? Oh dear, haven't you learned anything living with me for a few months? We do not fear crosses, no stakes, though they hurt when penetrating one's flesh and heart. We do not care about holy water, no priests or silver. These are all folk tales to help people sleep at night. So, I see you came prepared. Scared of your old friend, are you? <laughs> Don't be. I'll bite, but not too deep, I promise. It reminds us of the old times when you used to give yourself freely to me. Your blood, I mean. Do you remember how fun it was? I remember you've enjoyed it. Don't lie. What? Does it make you uncomfortable? Me being so close to you? Hmm? <laughs> Don't be. After all, I'm just here for my payment.